And now it's time for What's Cooking with Kate, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey, welcome to What's Cooking with Kate. Kate, we're gonna work on a recipe today. We've got some ground venison. What's in the plan? We are going to make a shepherd's pie with it. It's typically a dish people associate with either leftover pot roast or lamb, but we thought it would be a great way to use uh, extra venison versus just making jerky or a roast or something typical. We're gonna heat the pan. It's probably like three tablespoons full. So we're just gonna take the venison and kind of crumble it into the pan. This is about, this is a pound and a half of meat. And then we're just gonna basically keep crumbling it and browning it and just moving it along so it doesn't have any big clumps. So why don't we go ahead and season it? All right, about how much black pepper are we looking at? I, I just go by look. I just do a, a good thorough covering. And with salt, same? Just uh, probably half as much, let's say, because we are trying to keep it a healthier recipe. And there's gonna be plenty of flavors. We don't need to rely on salt. Okay. That's good. And then let's throw your garlic in. We've got two cloves that we minced. Yep, that's fresh garlic. If you don't have it, of course you could use powdered, but fresh is gonna have a bit more flavor. All right, so now what do we put in? We've got our salt, we've got our pepper, we've got our garlic cloves This in. part is pretty much done. Now we're gonna work on incorporating some of our vegetables. So I took a couple of carrots and just diced them up and one very large yellow onion. You can use white if you like better. We've got peas. You can use fresh, frozen, or canned. Any of the three will do. Just make sure they're drained. Uh, and if you don't like peas, which some people totally hate on peas, don't use them. All right, so it's gravy time. Yes. So we're gonna do a two tablespoons or so of butter. We're just gonna add about two tablespoons or so of uh, flour. And we're gonna whisk. We're gonna add one cup of beef broth. All right, so now we have to put our gravy slash broth into our meat. Yep, just pour it in and do a little stirring. We're going to spray our pan, and I definitely recommend using a glass casserole pan. And then the fun part actually is the mashed potatoes, which I made just before we went on camera here. But one of the fun things that you can put in to help with the browning is an egg yolk. Not the whole egg, just the yolk. And then what we want to do is we put it on the top is you want to actually attempt to seal the edges. If you don't seal the edges, what you risk having happen is that the juices inside the pan here will bubble up and over the top and you're not going to get that nice browning effect, which is really what we're looking for. We're just going to top it with some paprika and some parsley. And then it's going to go into the broiler for about six to eight minutes on high. And basically all that's going to do is give us a nice browned top with a little tasty crust to it. And that is basically what we're looking for, correct? The nice brown top? That's it. And we actually did a really good job, as you can see, sealing the edges. Very, very little of the gravy and the juices are popping through, so that's why we got that really nice brown crust on the top. That's going to be really hot. Mm. Yummy. That's fantastic. Now back to the hunt. Even dogs love shepherd's pie. You like it? Mm -hmm.